It's the Los Angeles Clippers facing the Golden State Warriors. Thanks for joining us as we get set to bring you NBA basketball. And the Clippers starting five. Wall out there with Norman Powell. Then it's Paul George. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Here is Wall. Pass to Zubats. Outside, Wall. Shot clock at six. In deep. Uses the glass to drop it in. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Thompson in the corner. Golden State moving the ball around. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Clippers. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And Wall kicks to George. And that one, good. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players Kevin playing today can do. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I was able to catch up with the head coach for the Clippers said priority number one is to not let these guys get going from the perimeter. Do not let them start getting open threes. It's a recipe for disaster. Kevin? Thanks, David. Devising a strategy to take away that three-point shot. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Wall finds Leonard. Wall looking for an opening. Not loose. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touch by Wiggins. Stolen by Thompson. They're running. The Warriors shooting their first free throws of the game. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. And he's good on the second. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. They swipe it. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Wow, from way downtown. Thompson's ready to shoot his confidence right now through the roof. Jackson dishes to George. Count it. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. The Clippers have gone 4-4 four four to start, so a nice offensive rhythm to start here. There's the pass to Mann. Back to Leonard. They get a hand on it. Near the three-point line, it's Morris, and that one goes long. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Jackson, feeds it to Morris, and the shot goes in. Morris has got his first two points. And I like the different looks that Morris can give you inside, outside, and in transition. One second left. That one doesn't drop. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. He delivered nine points from three-point range that quarter. Terrific work from distance. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. Looney passes to Wiggins. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And good passing. Setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Clippers trail by five. Setting the floor for the Clippers. They've got Jackson. 
Marcus Morris is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Kennard in at the two-guard spot. Now, here is Morris. He's covered closely. Back to Jackson. No good with the triple. You have to be willing to pass in those situations. That was a low percentage shot. DiVincenzo passes to Looney. Chalk up two there. And that's right where they want it to go with the ball in rhythm. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Los Angeles. They trail by seven. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. Yeah, that's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and game is fully in their control. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And he banks in the layup. Wiggins has got the lead up to 11 now for the Warriors. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another, Greg. And the wide-open shot for Morris. Los Angeles with another miss. The Warriors have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. The first one falls. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. And both free throws good for Wiggins. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. 116 left to play here in the half. Outside wall. To stop the run. And Wall slams it home. And I just love the way Wall kind of nice through that defense. He is masterful at slashing to the rim. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Leonard against Wiggins, a baseline J, and misses it off the right side of the rim. Warriors leading by 11. Thompson for three. Sinks the triple. Thompson's got 14. You know, it just feels like Clay Thompson, every shot that he shoots, he's got great balance. That one looked good. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. In the corner, George with it. Wiggins with the rebound. Golden State's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Thompson's got five points in the quarter. To the paint with four seconds on the clock. And the layup good by George. Well, you see the improvement in terms of high-level playmaking. A great understanding of all the offensive schemes that Kawhi Leonard possesses. Well, they have a good plan going right now. And they're starting to create separation. The game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together. Right now, their chemistry is something to be admired. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. What a defensive effort they put on Kawhi. Le and after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Clay Johnson with a strong contribution so far in this one. They've got Draymond Green. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Clay Thompson. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Poole in at the two. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Here's Leonard. And the layup's good off the glass. Leonard's got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Clippers. Really, with that level of speed and power, it is so difficult to keep Leonard from scoring on the drive. Clippers trail by 14. Launches a three. Raymond Green grabs the miss. How 
hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Of all the action happening there, Kevin, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Now, here's Wall. It's Powell on the wing. Back to Wall. Powell trying to free himself up. Just five on the clock. The kick out to Wall. Shoots over Curry. Wall's shot is off. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. This shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. From outside the arc, Raymond Green grabs the miss. Wiggins passes to Poole. He's off on that one, so Los Angeles will take it the other way. Here's George. <laughs> And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Paul George put his defender in the blender right there. Tough for him to guard that kind of possession. It's his first trip to the line. And both free throws good for Paul George. Warriors leading by 17. DiVincenzo passes to Thompson. And it's Wall with the ball for the Los Angeles Clippers. No good there. Golden State's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Here's DiVincenzo. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And it's plus. And that will be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Ladies check in for the Warriors. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Reggie Jackson's checked in for John Wall. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Marcus Morris is checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Clippers trailed by 17. Pass to Covington. Jackson has the open look. Trains the three-pointer. And Jackson has become a reliable three-point shooter. That's a shot you got to respect. Here's Thompson. He trains the quick shot. Thompson's got 23 points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been all Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Passes to Morris. And Morris throws it down. Yeah, we love when great offensive players get in a scoring rhythm, but Paul George right now in a great passing rhythm tonight. DiVincenzo hits the bucket. And the Warriors lead by 18. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Outside, George. Jackson in the corner. With one on the clock. Can't get it to fall. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Clippers trailed by 18. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth, they've got Paul George, also Robert Covington out there, and it's Jackson in at the one. Buries it from three-point range. Jackson's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Clippers. Here's Poole, guarded by Jackson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Reggie Jackson. At the line for your Warriors. And he knocks down the first one. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Golden State. Curry comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And so he hits both. And here is Powell. Knocked away. 
Back to Jackson. To the middle. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Uh, the, the versatility of Paul George is he's matured and put some more weight on his frame through the years. He's an exceptional two-way player with outstanding length and a tremendous scoring ability. The Warriors making a switch here. Green's checked in. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Jackson kicks to Covington. Curry against Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. Warriors leading by 15. And Covington sends it back. George against Thompson. George finds Powell. Thompson comes with the double team. And here's George for three. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First free throw is good. And Los Angeles with some changes. Leonard comes in for Robert Covington. And John Wall subbed in for Reggie Jackson. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Curry against Wall. Now Curry. From deep three-point range. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Warriors. They found a great rhythm from long range. Yeah, Kevin, every time they left a man open deep, it, he'd get a good shot at the basket. Didn't hesitate, and that aggression paid off. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Klay Thompson. He was tough to cover all game long one of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him and they didn't it's George on the wing good on the triple well, Paul George taking initiative tonight and going right at the defense one second separating the shot clock and game clock Curry with it just five to shoot Golden State needs to get off a shot. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than their opponent. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time.